Hello everybody. Today I would like to introduce my latest hobby, which is um, ECG expansion board for Raspberry Pi. And uh, this uh, tiny board is um, based on a ADAS 1000 chip and uh, it's uh, used for grabbing data from ECG electrodes and uh, this microchip inside has many many filters and uh, uh, some other algorithms to process ECG from uh, running on all LEDs and it has three channels plus one respiration channel and it's communicating with Raspberry Pi via SPI uh, bus therefore it could be uh, also ported to some other microcomputers like the BeagleBone Black because it's a pure SPI communication but um, um, this unit uh, or this uh, project uh, which I obtained it from uh, Biome Single Pi Foundation uh, has a software written in uh, C and uh, Qt libraries and uh, this would probably require some more effort to uh, port it to BeagleBone or any other of these uh, uh, microcomputers because it is actually dependent on uh, Broadcom library. Therefore, it would need some uh, certain amount of work to replace this uh, driver for the communication. Actually this is not uh, my design. I just um, uh, grabbed this drawings and of the board and uh, let it manufacture in China and I assembled both these parts and assembled it. Uh, we actually know that it's working and it's also working with the software. We Our intention was to run it on Raspberry Pi Zero, but for debug purposes it was very slow, therefore we had to use uh, Raspberry Pi 3B+. And for running it's also fine on um, the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, we don't want to work with uh, the software anymore. We would like to drop it and we don't need the graphical interface part. We will rather build it on desktop and we don't want to continue with Qt libraries. So therefore we just um, uh, created, uh, let's say, a grabber of this data without the graphical universal interface. Mm, and it's just obtaining the data Actually, we don't know what it is measuring because we don't have the electrodes yet. Therefore, we only know that it is grabbing something, but we don't know exactly what. So soon we will see what it is doing exactly. We also have to point out that this is a quite a complicated microchip. It's capable of running in tandem with another unit. And therefore, you could gain more channels and even more funny things to work on. Okay, so let's see in the future and a few weeks what more we have added and what could be done. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.